is up guys Jake again um, got a haul video kind of been letting uh, stuff pile up on me and not uh, making a video on it so I want to make this video too long there's a lot of stuff so I'm just gonna kind of go through them it's a mix of uh, Amazon and pickups from Goodwill and pawn shops and a couple eBay stuff um, so, get started. Start with the DVDs. Picked up, oh, these two at the pawn shop. Um, Scar 3D, which, I don't remember when this came out. What year, anyways, but I remember seeing it, like, around, but I never got, um, check it out, and it was a dollar, so I picked it up. And uh, another one is a midnight movie. Uh, I remember seeing this, really liking it. So for a dollar, I'd pick it up and check it out again. Uh, this is one thing. I, no, these I picked up at the Goodwill. Um, Legend of the Phantom Rider. This has. Angus Grimm in it, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I think so. But this is one, I love these early 2000s uh, movies. You know, these will never get the a Blu-ray treatment ever. So every time I see one, I try to pick it up because it's probably, it's never come out again. Uh, then... I picked this collection up on Amazon horror movie horror collection eight films picked it up mostly for bloody murder one and two and the main reason I picked it up I don't know if you can see it it's for carnivore um, I remember watching this movie with Red Dawn at the Dead I'll link him down below way 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 back in the day and I remember just like one scene from it and for the longest time, couldn't remember what it's called. I always got the cover confused with Relic, I think it is. Um, and then I was just scrolling through Amazon, and I seen this, and that caught my eye. I think it was like five bucks, so I uh, picked it up. And it's got a bunch of uh, early 2000s horror on it. So, yeah. And the last DVD, last DVD I got off eBay... I've been wanting this for a long, long time. Um, I absolutely love this movie. And this was the cheapest version they had on eBay. And I've never seen one of these before. So I thought it was cool. That's uh, Slashers. Uh, one of them early 2000 Fangoria movies that came out. Um, this movie, I love this movie so much. Um, and... I used to have it, and I don't know what happened to it. And so I was looking on Amazon, and I finally pulled the trigger. It wasn't too bad. Uh, but I've never seen, I don't know, let me guys know if you've ever seen DVD screeners like this. On the back, it's got the, I don't know how you can see that. It's got the price of the VHS and the DVD, and the VHS are more expensive than the DVDs. Uh, and this was still... I think this came out in 02. Still an early era of uh, DVDs. I thought that was pretty cool. I've, never, I've got plenty of VHS uh, screeners. I've never seen a DVD screener. Um, so I thought it was pretty cool. And I absolutely love this movie. You know, it's not very good. You got it for promotional use only. So yeah, very excited to have this. And then some Blu-rays. Um... Most of these came off Amazon. Most all of them. First one, just just before it on, uh, Code Red re-released re this. Um, glad they did. Been wanting it for a while, and then you know, before they released it, it was crazy money on eBay. So can't wait to check this back out. It's been a while since I've seen it. Another one I picked up uh, off Amazon. To Vinegar Syndrome titles. 
first was Who Done It, which I think it's uh, was originally released in yeah, Island of Blood. Um, I watched. I did. I have watched this, and it's um, it's alright. It's okay, slasher. Not the greatest, but it's alright. And one more vinegar syndrome I picked up was Blood Hook. Uh, watch the trailer. This movie looks right up my alley, so I can't wait to uh, check this out. Um, I think this is. I also think this is one of them movies that Trauma uh, put out, released. I think. Could be wrong though. Blood hook. And I got this off of uh, Severn. I got a gift card for Christmas from my brother. Thank you. Um, so I, I picked up Massacre in Dinosaur Valley from Severn. I've watched this. Um, uh, I liked it. I liked it quite a bit. Uh, it's, it's Italian cannibal movie. It's dubbed. Um, and it's a cannibal movie, but I don't know. You think it's going to go one way, and then it goes in a completely opposite way. But all in all, uh, not bad. Not a bad movie. I recommend it. And I picked these up forever ago from BCI Entertainment when they had their sale. First one I got was uh, Gorgo. Like a... Um, Godzilla ripoff, pretty much. I uh, never seen it. Love Godzilla stuff, and this is like four bucks, so I couldn't pass it up. Another one from VCI that I've never seen is uh, Dark Knight of the Scarecrow. I'm super excited to check it out. Been wanting to watch it for a while now, and again, it was super cheap, so picked it up. And any of these I say I haven't seen, if you guys seen them, they're good. Let me know. Uh, the rest of these I picked up at the uh, pawn shop. First one was The Boy. Um, I haven't seen it. I don't know how good it'll be, but it was like a dollar, so I picked it up. And I picked up My Bloody Valentine 3D. Um, I got it on DVD, but didn't have it on Blu-ray, so for a buck, picked it up. Um, I like the original more, but I don't think this is a bad remake. And the cool thing, I mean, this was at a pawn shop, right? The cool thing about this is it still had the, uh, 3D glasses in it. You got one, two for Saul, and the two for My Bloody Valentine. Still in the package. I thought that was pretty cool. It's weird, the early days of these, like you got your Blu-ray disc, right? And then this one is one, it's digital. It's a digital copy that only works in PCs and Macs. Um, very early days. That. Uh, then I picked up Columbiana. Um, all I know is it's got uh, Gamora in it from Guardians. Zoe Zaldana. Um, looks like a cool movie. It was a dollar, so I picked it up. And then The Void. Uh, love, 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 love this movie. I was excited to find it for a dollar. Can't re wait to rewatch it. Um, I highly, highly recommend it. And then I picked up last one I got at the yeah last one I got pawn shop. It's Wrong Turn Two. It's probably my favorite of the Wrong Turn series, uh, directed by Joe Lynch, and it's got Henry Rollins, Black Flag, Charlie uh, in it. It's definitely my favorite um, out of the series. And the rest of these are eBay. No, they're not. The last two, I got two things at Walmart the rest of the day, so I'll just do them. I picked up Bone Cut Gems at Walmart. I think it was like $6.99 or something. Um, really, really, really like this movie a lot. Um, so, it's a very different role for Adam Sandler. I think he nailed it, and it's just a good movie. I highly recommend it, too. 
And the last one I got at Walmart, it was six, same price as that, six ninety nine. was the Jane Sign Up Bob reboot. Um, I did not like this when it first came out because I think I wanted it to be another, you know, Jay and Silent Bob funny with, uh, what they say, dick and fart jokes or whatever. Um, it's, it's just, it's kind of, it's a lot different from that. I mean, it's still got your jokes in it, but after I watched it the second time, um, I love this movie. It might be my favorite Kevin Smith movie. I don't know. I have to think about that. But, I mean, I can do the whole video on this movie alone. It's just, I don't know. After finding out the meaning, you know, this is the movie, like, when he was, after he had his heart attack, he's laying there on his deathbed. He was like, this is the movie he wanted, he would regret not making. And, um, and if you're, if you're a, a parent or whatever, dude, Ben Affleck's dialogue at the end of this, oh man, pull at your heartstrings for sure. But I love it now. Then the rest, eBay. Uh, so it's Screen Factory's Exorcist 3. Uh, man, I'll put like um, stuff in my wish watch list, watch my cart, not my cart, but my save or whatever. And I'll just kind of like check the prices. And this one was, I think this one was like 18 something. But if you ever check on your Amazon cart, there'll be like uh, coupons. And they had a coupon for like, four dollars and fifty cents off this so i got this for like 12 bucks so definitely excited to pick that up and uh, the next one is one that i never heard of i picked it up based off of the two names alone so if anybody's ever seen it let me know i don't know how i haven't heard of this with these two in it it's west craven's summer of fear starring linda blair um for some reason, this is a Craven title that I've just completely it passed me by. I've never heard of it. Um, and it was like 12 bucks. So I figured I'd pick it up. It's got Linda Blair in it. Can't be that bad, right? Um, say 78. So my memory's not good. Last House on the Left was 70. I don't remember. But anyway, if anybody's seen this, uh, let me know how it is. Um, this, out of these ones, I haven't watched this, might be the first one I do watch, because I'm kind of curious, um, curious about it. And I picked up, uh, well, I got this off eBay, but I picked up, read it out off eBay. Um, a uh, pretty good movie, I liked it quite a bit. And, um, Samara Weaving, I love her. Um, I watch anything that she's in. Um. She couldn't really be in the Snake Eyes movie as, uh, who is she? Lady Jane? I don't know. But yeah, I love her. Good movie. Another one got off eBay was, uh, Terrifier. Um, can't wait for a sequel to come out. Really like this movie, too. Um, he is a creepy-ass clown. Um, this is a fun movie. Pretty gore, gore fest. One scene in it, you know what I'm talking about. It's pretty nuts, but uh, terrifier. Another one I picked up was Rituals. i uh, never seen this. Once again, I asked the Red Dawn of the Dead about it. And um, he said that he liked it. So I'll probably like it. Um, this is from Scorpion. I think this was a, maybe a re-release too, or it just came out. I'm not sure. But, uh, yeah. Excited to check it out. And I got uh, Cannibal Apocalypse with John Saxton in it. I um, haven't seen this either. So definitely excited to check it out. It's from Kino Warbur. And then I uh, pre-ordered this a long time ago when it got announced. Host from Shudder. Um, you know, even though it's like 59 minutes long, it's one of my favorite movies from 2020. Um, 
definitely. So, yo, host. And the last one. This is a special one for me. I'm glad it came out on Blu-ray. It's been out on Blu-ray for a while, but I finally pulled the trigger on it because it's cheaper now. Offering. Uh, I had the VHS of this. I remember watching it as a kid. It's not a good movie by any means, but I remember from my childhood. So I definitely had to pick it up. This is the biggest Halloween ripoff ever. Down from the storyline to the music. Um, yeah, definitely. And it's weird though, because you know, Halloween came out in 79. Somebody's gonna let me know if I'm wrong. I said 79. And this came out in 89. It's a 10 year difference, and they just ripped the shit off of it. Um, but I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Um, that's all I picked up recently. Quite a bit of stuff. Got a lot of stuff to watch. Got more stuff coming in. Green Factory had a sale. A Valentine's Day sale. I didn't go crazy. I only bought two things I really wanted. And then Full Moon had a 50% off sale. And um, I bought quite a bit of stuff from there. So just kind of waiting on that stuff. Um, but I should have plenty to keep me entertained for a while. Um, but thanks for watching guys till next time. Be good.